Yo, what it do YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop a Money, and we are back inside the Hyper Baller Reaction Chamber, and this is a figure unboxing video. Yes, guys, we are back with another figure unboxing. As you guys know, I I, I love figures, man. I love collecting figures, especially of uh, waifus, you know, waifus, anime waifus that, it, you know, you just, you just can't help but just have in my collection. As you guys seen the last time we had HOV, now this one, this one is very, very, very special. Honkai, my Honkai fam out there, what's going on? We're going to be here with 20, chapter 28 soon. Listen, man, this figure has been very, very, very anticipated. I've been I've been anticipating this figure for so long. Got my pre-order in, got her in. Here she is now, near and dear to my heart. This big baby right here, my OG waifu, my OG number one waifu of Honkai, Miss Himiko Murata. Yeah, Vermilion Knight Himiko Murata. Look at this. It's like she's massive. Like this is this is just a box when she just put together. She's gonna be massive, man. Like holy shit. Like look at this. Yes, this is by this is by what was this by? This is by Apex. No, yeah, this is by Apex. Apex figures. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is her with her great sword, God Slayer, and the flame and everything. She has two forms. Like you know, she can go. You can go her regular form. Uh, then you can go to flaming sword form right here that you see right here We're gonna try both of them and assemble both of them together now when it comes to the assembly when it comes to the assembly I'm actually gonna take my time with that because I'm not gonna lie to you that she has a she's uh, she looks very intimidating to, uh, to mess with so yeah, I've been watching other youtubers So if you guys want to know how to correctly put it together, I'll put those videos in the description below I'm gonna be following those tutorials and everything and uh, yeah, she even came with a bonus too, man She came with a wall scroll bonus. That I'm gonna actually put up somewhere around here But uh, I'll keep y'all updated with my progress because uh, I'm actually going to go into another room to put her together because, uh, yeah, this table right here is not going to cut it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to keep y'all updated about my progress. And I'll show her what she's going, what she's, what I'm doing with her and everything. Uh, we're going to have her at max assembly, you know, with the with the big fire god slayer and everything. We're going to try. She looks really intimidating, but we're going to do this. I'm really scared, but we're going to do this. And, uh, yeah, man, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we are. This is her out of the box. For the most part, you know, still in her plastic, all these parts, sheesh, all these parts, but her herself, just from this, she is massive, like, she's a beast, oh my god, I can't wait, I, I really can't wait, I'm really excited, let me turn y'all around to what the back of it looks like, and here's the back of it, god, that flame, this flame right here, enormous, this is enormous, and that, and God Slayer, everything, everything is just, huge and uh, i'm really excited so yeah all right so i'm going to put her on our base and show y'all what she looks like outside of it all right guys so step one has been completed or you can kind of say step two because i mean step one is like i guess you could say taking them out the box but yeah but getting her on the base of assembly step one of the assembly has been complete here she is first off first impressions she is solid she feels like a very high quality, high expensive figure. This base, uh, amazing. It feels amazing. It's solid. It's heavy. And, uh, yeah, man. So, yeah, just a quick pan around. That's her, Miss Up. Oh, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. Nice and thick. Absolutely in the right spots. So, yeah, and that's her pieces. You know, spread out all the pieces that you need. And, uh, yeah, go on from there. So, next is getting God Slayer up on her. Oh, and uh, here's, a, here's a, a quick little thing. I usually have my little things to say about instructions because these are the instructions, very long instructions. But uh, I look close and they're actually in English as well. And and that's a great touch they put on there for to include these with inst uh, English instructions. You hardly see that. So yeah, by the end of it all, uh, she's going to look like, hopefully look like this by the end of it all. <laughs> hopefully look like that. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to more of the assembly. The Great Swords God Slayer has been equipped to her. So that it was actually surprisingly easy. Really surprisingly surprisingly easy. First off, yeah, massive. How long that is, about as long as about as long as Himiko herself. And such high quality. Feels such high quality. So here's the thing. For uh, I didn't know this either. But uh yeah, this arm is actually removable. You can actually just pull that arm off. Easy. But uh yeah. So yeah, it just you just rest it in the hand, twist. It's uh you put it in her hand, twist. And then there's a peg on her hand, too, on this hand, as you could probably see. Yeah, when she's putting her hand, 
is a peg right there and just pushing into the sword. Easy as such. All right. Now, the hard part. At least I feel like it's the hard part. And that is getting her armor and everything assembled for this to make it look, you know, badass. Absolutely badass. Absolutely badass. So, yeah, coming, coming fully assembled for the first phase. Yeah. Look at it. Look at this. So, yeah, man, everything was actually pretty easy. You know, it's easier than I expected. So, yeah, she's fully on the base. She's mounted with God Slayer and her, uh, I want to say armor pieces right here. Yeah, this was, actually pretty, this was actually one of the funnest things to do. This was actually the funnest part, putting them two together and putting it up on there. And, uh, yeah, and just sticking that peg into her fur. So, one thing to be wary of, guys, uh, this right here. Be very careful with this piece. This piece was actually pretty hard, tough to find at first. I had to look at the instructions over and over and over. Let me see and focus on that. Yeah. So this is actually the piece that goes, that plugs into her fur right here. You know, you try to look for that. You unpin, you unplug that and then plug the, uh, the sword and everything right here. You know, that's how, that's how, that's how this gets stick up on there. But yeah, don't lose this. <laughs> Please don't lose this. It's so tiny. But yeah, other than that though, uh, there's also a, an extra piece of the base that you put up on here for this mode, at least. Uh, yeah, right here, it comes with it. That's where the sword is supposed to going, going to be lodged. It, it it actually comes apart, as you can see, it comes apart. Uh, there's there's a piece at the bottom of the, of the of the figure itself. You take that right there. You see the little hole right there. That's where that piece goes, and you connect this part of, that part this part of the base to it. If that makes sense. I have her fully assembled. She is fully assembled with the big flame sword and everything. Like, it's so fire. I'm about to show y'all right now. The only thing is, uh, I'm just trying to figure out uh, where the fuck am I going to put her? Because, uh, yeah, the, the shelf, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, uh, not too much empty space over there. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll improvise. I actually ended up improvising and it worked out for the best. Oh, uh, look at that. So now that I'm using this dresser, I'm going to actually put a mat right here, put a nice little weed mat, little waifu mat right here, whoever it is. And uh, that'll be for, for him and go. Probably try to see if I can find a Honkai mat. But yeah, here's the figure herself. So let me pan around. See this. Look how massive, enormous. That's her. So let me pan out a little bit. Yeah, right there. Everything, assembly wise, everything was easy. Easier than I expected. A lot more easier than I expected. And she is not fragile at all. Like I said, the only thing about her is that this arm is going to uh, move a lot. This arm is going to probably come out a lot. I got my mechanical pencil to point things out. Yeah, this arm is just going to come up. It's, it's not not a problem. Just put it, push it back in. But yeah, God Slayer, just slide right into her hand and use that peg. And then this is it's like a, this just comes on like a glove onto the black part of the sword. Just comes on like a glove and then support it with that base right there. Yeah, everything. So my favorite parts of this figure is the paint job. I love how they how uh, Apex just knocked it out of the park. For Himiko's face expression, like she's really finna get it done. Paint job on that. As them close-ups. Oh yeah, love that camera. Yeah, man. Yeah, she looks really fierce. Uh, details in, in her armor and her clothes. Just, oh my God, loved it. So... For this, there's, there's going to be like some tape residue around it because you know they're going to tape this part from like right here to right here. Uh, yeah, just uh, you just wipe that off. It'll be, it'll, it'll come off. Just some tape residue. Uh, yeah, she fits flush into her base. She's not going anywhere. This base is such high quality. My favorite parts besides the paint job is the base. I love unique bases, and she fits right into that. And the accessories, like God Slayer, is my favorite thing to look at. You know, the great sword. Besides him, go the great sword is, is my favorite thing to look at it's such high quality and like you know this this nothing on this figure is fragile nothing at all so yeah uh they even have her you know her famous mole right there such detail love the detail apex knocked it out of the park man so yeah she was very very worth the wait and uh i'm really impressed so yeah man she is like when she find a space for her, she she is you know it's great now there is one con there is one con Coming to it with the assembly, uh, some parts, the only parts that I actually had a, a sort of a bit of time, spent more time putting on, putting it on together, was the second part 
of this right here. I can push it down a little bit more harder, and I believe uh, it might still it might still not be in all the way. As you can see, I have a little space right there. Maybe that's a part of the figure. I could never figure out, but it seems pretty stable. Yeah, that's stable. That's not going anywhere. So I'm, I'm okay with that. But this right here, this part, this one doesn't move at all. This one doesn't move. That one's secure. But on this side, on this particular one, this comes right out. You know, without putting that too much, too much effort, like boop, like that. Not even pulling it. It comes right out. But you can just put it back on, and it'll, you know, it'll stay there. Just if you mess with it, it'll come down. But other than that, uh, yeah, that's the only part. Just this part, and like I said, messing, messing with, messing with this part right here to put the black sword up on there. Just pushing this in in place was a bit a bit of a extra few minutes but everything else was really easy a lot more easier than i expected yeah man so all together like oh she is just she's beautiful she was definitely worth the wait i love her to death absolutely love her to death and yes thick very very thick as you see very very thick i am impressed very well worth the wait and there you have it that was our himiko Murata vermilion knight eclipse on the figure unboxing I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was so much fun. It took about all together. I would say probably you know, if you if you go through all of it, I'll say about maybe 10, 15 minutes. But if you take your time, a little bit more extra. Yeah, I, I highly suggest you take your time, guys, because uh, she's working when she puts it all together. She's gonna be right here. So if I ever look, if you ever see me look over here. You just know y'all know what, what I'm looking at, <laughs> who I'm looking at. But uh, yeah, so yeah, man, she's my she she was uh, she will always be my number one first number one Honkai waifu. Big Brawny uh, is number one now, but, you know, here we go. If she was still here, uh, she'll still be number one. So there is one last thing, guys, one last thing. I want to put up the uh, the wall scroll now, and uh, I, that's another challenge. Uh, that's another hard part of this video. So, uh, uh, Miku, I love you, but you're coming down. Never let you go. This I did the most. Oh. We'll definitely make do with that for now. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'll put Miku just just a little bit more. I'll push her up a little bit more, and then put Miku right there. Yeah, that'd be that'd be just fine. <laughs> so there y'all have it, man. We we improvised really hard in this one, but it was so worth it. I give the figure itself a altogether. The figure itself is a ten out of ten assembly. 9.5 out of 10 because I again it definitely was not as hard as I expected it to be Apex good job y'all knocked it out of the park 10 out of 10 figure guys thank y'all so much for watching what y'all thought about that if you like to leave a like comment subscribe if you're new and I'm sure to see you all in my next one sayonara